dinosaur species developed many survival traits that allowed us to avoid unnecessary danger, to reflect and think before we acted, to create and deeply sense the mood of our environments. It has since been called high sensitivity. Today, our story is about the sensitive man rising. It's been 25 years since the first research was published on sensitivity, and it's only been two years since the sensitive man has come into focus. My name is Will Harper, and I'm the director from Sensitive, The Untold Story. I'm very proud to say that I'm a highly sensitive person. I consider this a gift. When Will Harper and I came together and decided to create this film, this documentary film on highly sensitive men, we both knew innately that the focus of the film would be the stories that sensitive men had to tell us about their lives. Oh, it was pretty hard growing up. A lot of mental abuse. There is so much brokenness in our past, um, and the brokenness that we shared obviously were, were tying to, um, to some degree, to our highly sensitive trait. Discovering my sensitivity um, and appreciating the, the sensitivity that uh, is, is a gift and not a curse, I think, was was crucial and has you know completely turned around for what was a very difficult period, it's served me well. Sensitive men have tremendous amount to gain by learning to embrace their, their sensitivity. There, there's a certain giftedness to it um, that goes beyond simply a, a, a selfish self-realization. We're more creative. We think and feel deeper. We notice things before other people. We tend to be good at leading. We tend to be good at knowing the answers before other people. We tend to be good at innovation. We also tend to be good at knowing um, how people are feeling, how people are doing emotionally, and what needs to be done to fix some of those problems. So why is our film so important? And why is there an urgency for us to disseminate the wisdom and the consciousness of this innate trait? Because we men are sometimes slower to embrace genres that have stigmas on the words used to describe a characteristic or mannerism like sensitivity. My suggestion is to get over it. Get over yourself, especially my POCs, people of color. It's cool to be sensitive. I mean, think about who are the highly sensitive ones in our community. Obama, Lenny Kravitz, The Rock, and yes, Martin Luther King Jr. and Nelson Mandela. It's time to wake up, my friends. This trait is a gift, and you, are special. We need to bring all men to the forefront. To the front line of understanding this powerful trait. Why? Simple. Because all highly sensitive people are needed, men and women alike, so that we may give insight, vision, and unrealized revelations to the sensitive and non-sensitive in our global community. Please understand this. It is proven that we are sensitive to subtleties, empathetic, and most importantly, we are deep thinkers. This is not a trend or a movement. These are carefully reviewed scientific studies that hold up to scrutiny. Learning to embrace that sensitivity and to embody it in a really confident way that invites other people into that experience, um, I think is really the key thing. The world can benefit from discovering uh, highly sensitive men and what we have to offer because it desperately needs us. It desperately needs us as healers and as leaders and as creatives to bring about needed change in our society and in our cultures. Um, as we leave off some of the things from the past and embrace a new vision of the future that is more inclusive, that's more diverse, that's more empowering for people to, uh, rather than fit a narrow mold of what they should be or what they can become, discovering that people have been born within them. This tremendous gift uh, is something that we need to encourage and, and our world can greatly benefit from that if we learn to support that, that journey of self-discovery and self-exploration and self-acceptance. The Sensitive Man Rising